Is he confident that the announcement of 10 November regarding neurosurgery services in the South Island will provide a sustainable service? The Honourable Tony oh, Ryle. Mr Speaker, I've been assured that the configuration of the South Island neurosurgical services recommended by the expert panel is sustainable. Uh, having said that, building the service won't happen overnight and a number of things have to click into place, such as staff being recruited at both the university and the DHB level. The Honourable Ruth Tyson. What was his response to the letter from Canterbury neurosurgeon Ronald Bowett that he would resign if the announced model was imposed on him? The Honourable Tony Ryan. Uh, Mr Speaker, I don't recall receiving that letter. Uh, my, my, comment, my comment would be that uh, the important thing that we need to do for the South Island is to have a service that is sustainable and will provide uh, for the future. That certainly is the recommendation that's come from the independent panel, and I think that would be very good for New Zealand. I know that is a policy that has been welcomed by her two colleagues from Dunedin. The Honourable Ruth Dyson. What was his response to the letter from Canterbury paediatric neurosurgeon Martin McFarlane that he would retire from his profession if the announced model was imposed on him? The Honourable Tony Ryan. Well, Mr Speaker, I am aware that there are a number of um, people around the countryside who may not be happy uh, with what's being proposed. But let's remember, the reason why this review was started was because the doctors couldn't agree and the DHBs couldn't agree, and that's why a decision was made. If the member opposite is saying that the Labour Party's position is that they want a one-site service run from Christchurch, then I find that very interesting. The Honourable Ruth Dyson. Why will children from the whole of the South Island have to travel to Auckland for neurosurgery, and does he care enough about them to act on their behalf? The Honourable Tony Ryan. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I don't think all the children of the South Island are going to have to travel to the North Island. Uh, for their neurosurgery. This is about providing a sustainable service for the people of the South Island. That's why it's been strongly endorsed by her colleagues from Dunedin. I order the, uh, the members' party has uh, already had the... It, it, gave a couple, it gave a question to the Honourable Jim Anderton today, and I believe that's the full quota. Question number 12, Chester Burrows. Thank you, Mr Speaker.